Hey guys, today we're gonna learn the physics behind this stuff. Kinetic sand. Now with this kinetic sand, we can see that it acts a lot like a solid, but if we stop applying pressure, we can see that it starts to deform and it acts a lot like a liquid. Now this stuff is really a genius invention. It can be molded and shaped any way you like and can even be cut in half while still maintaining its original shape. But at the same rate, just by giving it a little squeeze, we can see that it starts to act just like normal sand again. And from a cleanup aspect, it's pretty easy as it all just clumps together. So you don't have pieces of sand everywhere. But I'm more interested in the physics behind how this sand works and how it can act like a solid, but yet act like a liquid at the same time. You see, this substance is a non-Newtonian fluid meaning that it behaves differently from most other substances. And this kinetic sand is actually a particular kind of non-Newtonian fluid known as a dilent. Now in dilents, the viscosity or the thickness of the substance changes as shear strain is applied. So to put that simply, here with this ball of kinetic sand, as you can see when I put pressure or shear strain down on it, it becomes more viscous and thicker. However, if I were to pick up this disc as we can see, there's very little strain, so it just returns to acting like a liquid. Now this is all thanks to the chemical structure of the kinetic sand. So this stuff is 98% regular sand, in this case colored green, and only 2% polydimethane siloxane, which is the main ingredient in Silly Putty. Now even though this mixture is just 2% liquid, it is still considered a suspension, meaning that the sand is not dissolved in the oil, but it is rather evenly dispersed all the way throughout it. Now there's another non-Newtonian dilent that you may have heard of, and that's this stuff right here, oobleck. Now this stuff is also suspension, but it's a suspension of cornstarch and water. And as we can see, it has a lot of the same properties. As we can see right now, it's acting a lot like a liquid, but if we punch it and we add that sheer stress, we can see that it acts as a solid. I actually filled the kiddie pool up with this stuff, using over 200 pounds of cornstarch and almost 50 gallons of water. And I actually walked over it with Harry Connick Jr. on his show. But even though they have a lot of the similar properties, they are still quite different. Now the two substances have roughly the same viscosities when force is applied. However, the kinetic sand can hold the shape much, much better than the oobleck can. And this is all thanks to hydrogen bonds found in the poly dimethyl siloxane. As you may know, hydrogen bonds can be broken pretty easily. So if there are small amounts of stress on the kinetic sand, we can see that it breaks as all those hydrogen bonds are being broken everywhere. So it just acts like normal sand. But if it's neatly together and you cut it in half with a knife, tons of hydrogen bonds are being broken, but they're all being broken in the same spot, neatly along a line. So they all stay in the same shape. Because the kinetic sand is still pretty viscous, even when it's still, we can't do one of the coolest things that we can do with the oobleck. And that is create these awesome waves when we put it on a subwoofer. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, which is I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe.